we're gonna get started by priming my face with my MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Massage, and then we're gonna go in with this Match Made in Heaven from forever ago. This is um, L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer, and my MAC Studio Fix Fluid as I poke myself in the eye, and I'm just gonna buff it out, and you don't need to see that really. And then I'm going to conceal my under eyes because Lord knows my under eyes are just oh goodness. And then I'm just gonna buff it out and I'm gonna put it everywhere else I think I need it. And then I'm going to bake it. I'm gonna bake my under eyes, which is something that I recently found doing. It's really, really, really nice. And this is also gonna um, catch the glitter that will fall on our face later. Then I'm just going to prime my eyes and then we're moving on to the Anastasia palette. I'm taking the color Nior and I'm going to put it in my crease with a defining brush. I don't know the name of this brush. It's from the Urban Decay Spunk palette. It's going to look something like that. And then I'm going to take this brush which has nothing on it really and I'm just going to blend out the black to make it look a little nicer. And then I'm taking a little bit of this color Morocco from the Anastasia palette and blending it out and then uh, we're here and I'm just gonna use this Marc Jacobs color to put it on my eyes and then I'm gonna go with a clean brush and just blend out the crease and now I'm taking mixing medium and I'm just taking my finger and placing it on my lid and I'm taking this MAC Pale 3D glitter and I'm just packing it on my lid to look pretty looks so cool. I love it so much. Now we're just going to tie a line with a eyeliner and we're going to do the waterline also because it's a dramatic look. And then we're just going to make a wing on top of the glitter which can be a little bit of a hassle but I actually did it pretty well. So, yep. The glitter is gone and it's just gonna be a nice highlighting under eye. And then we're gonna take that black eyeshadow again and we're gonna put it right underneath on the lash line. And that's just gonna give the dramatic look. And then we're gonna smoke it out with whatever was left on that brush. And then to highlight the inner corners, I'm going to be using Stila's Kitten Eyeshadow. I love it for highlighting the eyes. And that is what's happening. And then I'm going to coat my lashes. And I'm going to actually coat them with two mascaras because I did not have false lashes for this look. So, yeah. And it turned out actually really nice. You can put on false lashes. I just did not have any at this time. Sorry. Now for the brows. Really easy. You just gonna brush through them and then shape them and my brows I don't know what I do with them anymore and then I'm just gonna conceal them because why not you know it's here and then I'm just gonna conceal and make that edge really sharp underneath the wing liner and then I'm gonna contour my face with my two fit me sticks from Maybelline this one is in 130 and the lighter one is in 110 I believe and I'm gonna highlight everywhere but underneath my eyes highlight and contour everywhere except for yeah my eyes and then I'm just gonna land it out Blend, 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 that's all I can say. Then I'm just gonna take my Kat Von D shade light palette and just 
cover all the highlighted spots with powder and all the contouring spots with powder. So it's all set and nice on my face so I don't look like a greasy monster like I do before powder. Champagne pop because what do you highlight with? Champagne pop is just amazing. And I'm just gonna highlight all the necessary places like the nose, the cupid's bow, and the chin, and a little bit on the forehead too. Then I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury brush, blush. It's not a brush, it's a blush in the color Ecstasy and just give that beautiful color to them. And it's time to do the lips. So for the lips, first, as you saw, I put on chapstick, and now I'm just taking this Kat Von D liquid uh, lipstick in the color Wicked, and just lining my lips, getting the general shape of what I want. And it's a process. Take your time. Please take your time when doing these lips. It's gonna look like that. And then I'm going in with this color Wicked. And it's gonna look like that. And then I'm going in with the color Love. It's gonna look like that. Sorry. And then I'm gonna conceal. It's gonna look like that. And I'm sorry that I didn't have any clips of me actually doing my lips. But all I can say is just go back in and just keep blending and putting it on and blending. And then I'm just gonna spray my face with Fix Plus. And that is the finished look. I'm sorry if this was really fast. It was originally 40 minutes and I cut it down to 8, but I at least hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to like because this is a pretty cool look and subscribe because there's always more coming and I will see you guys next time.